this might be one of the most talked about topics surrounding the crew motorfest the handling well, let's go all right first i wanted to clear up something that i said in a previous video i said and i still believe this the handling in the crew motorfest is similar to the crew 2. i did not say that it's the same I've played a lot of early access of the Crew Motorfest and it's still my position that the handling is not different enough to persuade someone who really hated the Crew 2 handling to like the Motorfest handling. Now that opinion stands. All right, let's talk about the actual differences though. The first is that they actually redesigned the handling basically from the ground up. So even though my position is that it feels the same, it's actually not. It actually is different. In this interview with Red Bull Gaming, Aurele Ganat, sorry if I butchered your name, says exactly that. Compared to The Crew 2, we kinda started from scratch. Now he goes on to explain how, thanks to the programmers, they're working with a set of tools that allows them to easily change when a vehicle is going to lose grip or enter a drift. They have tons of parameters that contribute to the way the car feels, which allows them to fine tune how each vehicle handles. Obviously, this is a huge need for a game like the Crew Motorfest because they aren't just tuning the handling for a few hundred cars. They are also tuning it for boats and planes and off-road vehicles and monster trucks and street bikes and motocross. It's kind of wild the number of different disciplines that they worked with and have to adjust physics on. Now, not only that, but they're adding in new game mechanics for each of the different playlists. So when you go into sort of the retro-ish playlist, the cars handle completely different. They're not glued to the road. They have less grip. They tend to drift a little bit more. So I have to give it to them. They've made a lot of positive changes. And in addition to that, they've created more clear feedback to the player with regards to drifting and tire grip. So when the tires of your car start to lose grip, you will receive one set of rumbles in your controller. And when you're in a full slide, you're gonna receive another set of rumbles that feels differently. That feedback is way more important than you even know. It seems insignificant, and I know there's a lot of players out there with the vibration turned off. But the slight rumble when the tires are about to lose grip is huge, and it allows you to make adjustments based on what you feel and see rather than just what you see. I know this doesn't directly have anything to do with the physics of the vehicles, but it definitely speaks to why some people have reported huge changes in the handling. So with these tools and the new user feedback systems, what experience did they actually intend to create for the players? Well, Aurele says later in this video that compared to the Crew 2, the Crew Motorfest has a more sim feeling. Now, personally, I still think that it feels very arcade, definitely more than Forza Horizon, but not quite as arcade as the Crew 2. The cars feel a bit more slippy, which is more realistic, and it definitely is confirmed by this interview. Aside from that, though, they didn't stray too far away from the Crew 2, which I actually like. I was never one of those people who hated the Crew 2's handling. It's an arcade game and it should feel like one. It's not supposed to be super realistic. And by sticking to an arcade handling model, you make the game more accessible to people who maybe don't play racing games all that often, or they're just looking for some fun with cars. Anyways, what I think about the handling model really doesn't matter. What matters is what the majority of the player base thinks. Because if the majority of the player base thinks that it's different than the Crew 2, and they feel like it's different than the Crew 2, that means that they like it more. And if more players like it, that means more people are going to enjoy the game. And that means more people to play with, and better lobbies, and more support and better features from the Crew Motorfest. Anyways, if you want to watch the whole interview, which is only about four minutes long, I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out for yourself. And if you have any questions for me, don't hesitate to send me a DM. I answer, I read every single message. Send it to me on Instagram, Twitter, or Discord. All right, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Trigger out.